compensation for personal injuries caused by e-scooters in Colorado. In recent years, electric scooters, e-scooters, have emerged as a prevalent and convenient means of transportation in urban areas across Colorado. Their popularity stems from their user-friendly nature and their eco-conscious appeal. However, as the number of e-scooter riders has grown, so too have the incidents of accidents and associated personal injuries. Understanding Personal Injury Claims In accidents involving e-scooters, fractures and sprains are among the most common injuries. These occur when a rider is thrown off the scooter, either due to a collision or abrupt braking. Fractures can range from minor to severe, requiring extensive medical treatment and rehabilitation. Sprains, while less severe, can still lead to significant pain and limited mobility, impacting the victim's daily life. Head injuries, including concussions, are of paramount concern in e-scooter accidents. Concussions can have long-lasting effects on cognitive function, memory, and overall well-being. Severe head injuries may result in permanent disabilities, necessitating ongoing medical care and support. Liability in e-scooter accidents Determining liability in e-scooter accidents is a crucial aspect of seeking compensation. In cases where the operator of the e-scooter was negligent, such as disobeying traffic laws or operating recklessly, they may be held responsible for any resulting injuries. Sometimes, accidents occur due to mechanical failures or improper maintenance of the e-scooter. In such cases, the e-scooter company or maintenance provider may be held liable. Unsafe road conditions or poorly maintained infrastructure can also contribute to e-scooter accidents. Potholes, uneven surfaces, and inadequate signage can pose significant risks to riders. Navigating the legal landscape. Statute of limitations in Colorado. In Colorado, there is a specific time frame within which a personal injury claim must be filed, known as the statute of limitations. For e-scooter accidents, this typically spans two years from the date of the incident. Comparative negligence laws. Colorado follows a comparative negligence system, which means that even if the injured party bears some degree of responsibility for the accident, they can still pursue a claim for compensation. Filing a personal injury claim. To build a strong case, gathering evidence is paramount. This may include photographs of the accident scene, statements from witnesses, medical records, and any communication with the e-scooter company or other parties involved. Prompt medical attention is not only crucial for your well-being but also for documenting the extent of your injuries. Reporting the accident to law enforcement is a critical step. This establishes an official record of the incident and may provide additional evidence to support your claim. The role of insurance companies. After filing a personal injury claim, you will likely interact with insurance adjusters representing the involved parties. It's important to remember that their primary goal is to minimize payouts. Seeking legal counsel before engaging with adjusters can help protect your rights and ensure fair treatment. Insurance policies have limits on the amount they will pay out for different types of damages. Understanding these limits is crucial for managing expectations regarding the potential compensation you may receive. In cases where damages exceed policy limits, additional legal action may be necessary. The importance of legal representation. Engaging a Denver electric scooter accident lawyer with experience in e-scooter accidents can significantly bolster your case. They possess the expertise to navigate the legal intricacies, negotiate with involved parties, and, if necessary, litigate on your behalf. A personal injury attorney will work diligently to build a robust case on your behalf. This includes conducting thorough investigations, gathering evidence, consulting with experts, and formulating a compelling argument for compensation. Their expertise is instrumental in maximizing the chances of a successful outcome.